another story. This one is of a man who fell asleep behind the wheel on the freeway. It pays to pray. You keep your loved ones covered on that road. Check this out. Supernatural protection. The man is sleeping. He doesn't know it. He's on the freeway. He preached at some revival and he's trying to get home. And next thing you know, he feels as if somebody had put their brakes on the car. And you know how you are in the passenger side when somebody hits the brakes. It's like, whoo, okay, what's happening? What, we okay? All right. My husband used to do it all the time because he's blind. So it's easy to doze off when everything's black all the time. And I was driving and I hit the brakes. You know, happens a lot of times you hit the brakes because some nitwit cuts in front of you. And he wake up, what's wrong? Everything all right? And he's trying to see, right? Because he used to see. And he's, he's, he realizes, oh, okay, I'm in the car. Everything all right, baby? Everything's okay. Going back to sleep. Just a nitwit. So... He goes back to sleep. Well, in this particular case, this man is a sleep baby and he's in the driver's seat. Hello. <laughs> I've fallen asleep behind the wheel. It is very scary when you wake up. Anyway, he is top speed on the freeway and he feels the brakes hit and he lunges forward and it startles him awake and he opens his eyes and he sees this. He's on the freeway now. He's not going off or veering off. He's still going straight. A man has got his hand on the front of his hood. The car is still moving in the 50s. It's not at 20 or 15 or 10, which is still too fast for anybody to even get in front of your car. This man... You would think he was on some kind of roller skates or something. He's got his hand on the man's hood. Tall man. Extremely tall. Hand on the man's hood. The car is slowing down. The man's foot is on the accelerator. Not on the brake. Figure that one out. Once the car comes to a complete stop and the man finally realized maybe I better take my foot off the accelerator. As soon as the car came to a complete stop and the man put his foot on the brake, he's still looking at the man with his hand on the hood. The man disappears in thin air. In a puff of smoke, he's gone. And when he realized where he was, he didn't steer, he didn't do any of it. He was parked perfectly parallel in the shoulder of the freeway. He put that baby in park, jumped out that car, and ran around that car and praised God. <laughs> he realized he had seen an angel, and the angel had protected him while he was sleeping behind the wheel. Pull the car, steer the car over, apply the brake, and stop the car totally in a very safe spot on the shoulder of the freeway. God is a God of the supernatural, you guys. He is not limited. Listen to me when I say, there is, there is so much more to knowing God than just sitting up in the church listening to a dry sermon. God is phenomenal. You. It doesn't make sense for you not to be interested in knowing him. Life is very intriguing with him in your life. Very intriguing. You never know what surprises are going to be behind the next wall. God has them all. Stick with him, please. He is our divine protection. God bless you.